Hey everybody, screw yourself for here again. I have just gotten a sticker. Yeah, this one right here. See that? It says approved. This is, you know, meter base. Wired it myself and with a lot of help. I didn't actually wire it myself. My uncle helped me help me do this. I needed his help. But also the inspector. Uh, the inspector came out once. I wasn't quite ready. And he said, well, do it this way and this way and this way, which I will show you. And uh, it'll be kosher. So, and he came back out today, inspected, and we're golden. So you see what we got here. We got 4O cable. You got the neutral, or you got the ground in the middle. You got the red stripe, and then you got the black one here, of course. Uh, the power company is going to come in. I think this is underground service. They're going to come up here and tie it into these right here. And then the meter base will be uh, the the, uh, the meter, actually, will be on here. And then, of course, this goes inside, you can see. And I will tell you about these flanges. There are two different type of flanges. This is a glue type flange, and there's also a screw type. Get the glue type. The screw type you will need. If you get the screw type, you're going to have to have um, gaskets, rubber gaskets, so it fits tight and doesn't move around. Those are PVC glued together, and they don't move, of course. And then, of course, running between the meter base there and where the panel is it might be a little bit dark in here but i hope you can get this uh got the panel on the uh direct opposite side of the wall right here we'll see how that looks okay we do have some light it's coming straight through the wall straight there's no down up around anything like that and uh when I tried to do this before last week, I had the wire coming down and through and up, you know, and the panel was right side up, and then the cable came up here and made a tight bend, and he said, no, that's not kosher, can't do that. So turn the, turn the panel upside down. So you got the meter, you got the wire coming in here, this 4 cable, of course. And you got the main circuit breaker right there. Of course, there's no power on it, so... You know, and they have a power company hadn't been out yet and put new uh, poles or wires in. So there's that flange again, the glued flange, and you will see behind it, or maybe not. There's PVC pipe connecting those two flanges, of course, connecting the outside box meter base box to the inside. Uh, box and this is my Siemens load center actually it was called the ultimate load center <laughs> made by Siemens anyway so you got these and of course you got ground right here and that goes back here and then you got the red cable and the black cable. That was uh, the diagram I got on. I found a diagram online about this. You can find them, you know, Google, uh, uh, Google Pictures or Yahoo Images or whatever. You can find it. You can find the diagram of what this is supposed to go on. Of course, um, once you once you cut this off and get the sheathing cut off, you will need to put on the ends of those uh, some anti-corrosion. This is called Noalox, N-O-A-L-O-X, um, uh, antioxidant joint compound. So you just put that on the ends of the wires, shove them up in there, tighten them down with a big Allen wrench. And uh, then, of course, you got to ground your meter box. And this is, um, I forget what gauge copper wire this is, but, you know, you put her in there with some stuff, tighten it down, run it out. Now he told me that I could have run the ground wires on the inside. It, I didn't 
think so, but of course I didn't ask him that last time. So we got the wire coming down and the cable runs underneath that skirt board there and out to two eight foot five eighths inch uh, copper rods buried in the ground and the cables are clamped to it and the and those yeah basically what he told me was put the first rod right underneath the meter base and you connect your cable to it Let's take your second rod which is eight foot and lay it from the first rod down to wherever you want to put it they have to be a minimum of six feet apart and he said just take the rod set it down and where where the end of it lays tap it down so that's about eight feet so you know you got two rods buried in the ground approximately eight feet apart uh, tied together bonded with this ground wire and a panel right here and uh, there's that okay also there's one thing I did forget this right here there's a green screw didn't really know what that was for the inspector looked at that and then he he screwed it in and as he said that that bonds this ground wire to this and the panel so we're uh, you know golden so you got to screw that down there's you don't have to put anything in there just screw it down and there it is thank you to everyone who helped so until next time uh, I'm screw it yourself -er. And I'm going to try not to screw it up, and you should probably do the same. Don't screw it up. And uh, take care.